So now we are going to talk about the functions of lysosome. There are four important functions of lysosome. First one is intracellular digestion. Second one is extracellular digestion. Third one is autophagy and then extracellular particles digestions, right? So first of all, intracellular digestion. Intracellular digestion means that when lysosome digesting uh, macromolecules present inside the cell and converting these in, uh, macromolecules into micromolecules for various purposes, right? For the formation of energy or for other uh, essential purposes that is mainly converted into other types of molecules. So this is known as intracellular digestion. For example, this is a lysosome. When lysosome it is cons it consists of enzymes, you know, uh, protease, lipase, and uh, glycooxidase enzymes. So, with the help of these enzymes, it can convert these macromolecules, which are proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates, into micromolecules. These are micromolecules, so these molecules can be converted into micromolecules with the help of lysosome. This is called as intracellular digestion. Second one is extracellular digestion. Extracellular digestion is very simple and you can understand it easily. So extracellular digestion is that digestion which is done by lysosome outside of the cell. How is it possible? This is possible when lysosome releases its enzymes into the environment outside of the cell and digesting something outside, outside of the cell. This is called as extracellular digestion. For example, a sperm cell consists of lysosome, right? So here lysosome is present when it's going nearer to the ohm. In this case, it's release, it releases its enzymes. The lysosome releases its enzymes in order to dissolve the outer membrane of the ohm. This is the example of extracellular digestion. Both are different cells and sperm cell releases enzymes to the own cell outside of the cell this is called as extracellular digestion extracellular digestion means that a digesting membrane outside of the cell third one is autophagy autophagy is a process in which a non-functional is previously i have talked about when non-functional organically is dissolved inside the cell so this is known as autophagy for example this is a mitochondria which is no longer functional or mal malfunctional right it cannot carry out any type of activity so it, it is a burden right on the cell and lysosome will fuse with this organically engulfing it and will dissolve the organically completely and this is known as autophagy right Fourth one is extra external particles digestion. If there is external particles that is going inside into the cell, this will cause various types of uh, uh, means abnormalities in the cell. And the very first time lysosome, lysosome also doing and dissolving such types of particles. And this is this how lysosome dissolving this particle. For example, a particle is going is coming out into is coming into the cell and it uh, carry uh, plasma membrane along with itself so it is present inside the cytoplasm lysosome will come and with fuse with these external particles will engulf it and then release its enzymes in order to dissolve this particle so it is very important to know and the lysosome will dissolve the particle and eventually will uh, neutralize the particle it may no longer be able to cause any type of disease or abnormality in the cell this process mainly occurring in macrophages or white blood cells of human body so in this video i have talked about the uh, lysosome what is lysosome and i introduce lysosome in a detail and after that i also uh, talked about various types of uh, uh, lysosome then functions of lysosome is also important so we will discuss these functions in detail uh, if you have any type of question you people can ask in the comment box